boys and girls. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the pan balance, which is part of the everyday math tools. Some friends don't have the EDM app. So I'm going to show you how to go in through Clever because I know everyone can get to the pan balance that way. You'll log into Clever with your Clever badge. Your badge should be on your login card in your red folder. When you arrive in Clever, you're going to look for the red square that says McGraw-Hill Education. You're going to tap on it. When you get to this page, touch the greenish blue colored button that says Launch. Okay, you're getting closer to the pan balance. Touch the green button with the shapes that says E-Toolkit. Nothing here. If you want to pull up the pan balance, you have to touch the small blue button on the left in the bottom that says E-Tools. You'll get this pull-up menu and you have to scroll down until you get to the pan balance. It's right after the number line, right before the pattern blocks. Now, again, there's still nothing there. You have to take your finger and drag it onto your workspace. It always lands off to the side, so you can just move it to the center. Down below, you have these different options of weights that you can put on either side of the balance. So, you can pick any number you want. I'm gonna pick five. You just hold it with your finger and drag it into the balance. You can see that since I put five on one side, it went down because there's nothing or zero on the other side. And five is greater than or heavier than zero. So if I want to make it equal, I have to put something on the other side that equals five. Well, the easiest way to do that is just to put five on the other side because five equals five. But that's kind of boring. If I want to take that out, I just pull it out and then I can put other things in. Like I know one and four also equal five. I can take that out. Whoops. I can take those out and I could do something else like two and three because that also equals five. I can do bigger numbers by, I could take another five and put it over here. Now I've got 10 on one side. If I want it to be equal, I have to put 10 on the other side. I've already got five because two and three is five. I could put five in there. So now I've got five plus five is the same as or equal to two plus three plus five. Isn't this so cool? There is no assignment for you to do today. I just want you to like enjoy exploring this and see what you can find out.